Hello and welcome to the channel. We're going someplace real special today. So let's go. that are bringing poor that left side damage that Winston Kelly was speaking of just a moment ago. Right side damage. Final race here in the Restart. And he'll have dropping help from Elliot Sadler as the green flag waves from the starter stand. It's the inside lane that gets the jump. William Myron, first car up. Be at the right time at Daytona. He's up to challenge for second. Everybody jump. some nicks and dings from the initial contact once he started sizes now at the front of the feet Elliot Sadler they're the top three Jeff Burton has climbed to fourth Dakota Armstrong is Ty Dillon Brandon Jones also settle in here Daytona International Speedway William Byron Eric Jones and the green flag the starter stand the outside lane of Eric Jones does not go the inside lane gets a The field was past the overtime line on the back straightaway when the caution flag came out. The International Speedway, William Byron, comes off of turn number four into the trial. The series rookie is a Daytona winner. Cars getting spun around. Spencer Gallagher, Ty Dillon, a lot of collected. A lot of carnage down here. From Charlotte, North Carolina, William Byron, winner of the Coca-Cola Firecracker 250 here at Daytona. And the burnouts are on through the trial. Outstanding performance. Played strategy perfectly here this afternoon. Kept that Chevrolet out in front. And for anyone to etch their name in the history books here in Daytona, you have put yourself on the map. His second career victory, his second consecutive victory. Back-to-back -back weeks for the young William Byron to get the Gatorade victory lane here in Daytona. Flying the exalted colors on the side of that automobile, and boy does it look so good. The color of speed at Daytona, and William Byron had all of that here tonight as he captures victory and the Coca-Cola Firecracker 250. We'll hear from the winner of the top five momentarily from our friends at NBC and the Motor Racing Network. This all sets the stage for the big dance, the Coke Zero 400 at Daytona, powered by Coca-Cola. William Byron, victorious. Elliot Sadler will finish second today. Dakota Armstrong across in third. The rest of the finishing order, they will go back and try to sort based off of how they crossed that overtime line and when the caution flag came out as the field rolled past the back straightaway. 
Ladies and gentlemen, William Byron about set to get out of his race car. Give him a big round of applause. His first win here in Daytona Xfinity Series style, William Byron. Got to get that thing stopped out there on the front straightaway as he takes home the win, puts it in gear, stops it from rolling. Byron, victorious here today in Daytona. The guys brought a great Duran car, and hopefully this is a good sign. Hopefully Dale can get it done tomorrow. So uh, this is really cool for our team, and just really proud of everybody. Is it crazy to think that eight days ago you had zero Xfinity wins, now you have two? What was the key move? Because as your crew chief said, there were some veteran moves out there this afternoon. Yeah, probably just getting the bomb square uh, with the smaller square on the back. Yeah. Here, Daytona International Speedway.
are here in Daytona just minutes before the start of the Coke Zero 400. As you can see, I've been pulling for Junior in this race. The last video as of now has 200 plus views and is continuing to rise. It's doing great. Let's see if we can do the same thing with this. And special announcement here. By the time you're watching this, I am in Walt Disney World. There'll be vlogs of that coming too. I know there's a lot of vlogging in here, but a lot of shots of the racing stuff. Just wanted to get you a little up.